I am making dye to cut louvers. Here. What I use is a vise which is tight enough to remove all the slack and then I have a I have a diamond wheel which with which I do finishing finishing cut okay so this is how it is done it is it is just removing actually it is polishing the surface removing all the imperfections okay so, so this is the the way to do things when you don't have a milling machine all right okay so we stop here okay we turn this is diamond very expensive thing but here now we have a finished product which we are going to remove from the vise yeah. and it looks exactly like that okay this will be a cutting part of a die to make a louvers okay thank you hello my name is Eugene and uh, I would like to demonstrate to you how I cut louvers okay this is a piece of uh, just to scrap to, to show you first I, I, I put I put a line on where I have to cut those louvers so so they are nice and straight so here then just this is demonstration now this here is a, a tool I fabricated with scrap metal okay so here so I am aligning this you know with the with the with the line so they all should be nice and straight here I invested $12.95 on a hydraulic jack because before I was squeezing uh, those cutters on a wise but uh, it was too hard for for uh, for uh, for uh, your arm so here I'm closing now this and just uh, here and all it takes only just did you hear that so it is cut clunk but now I'm just giving a little more pressure to form a lure okay so now here I'm releasing pressure on on a jar lifting it up and can you see this this is the this is the first lure okay can you see yes okay now what I'm doing I am just advancing it okay and it leans on the edge of the cutter on the other side so so those those louvers are nicely spaced between them here so I follow the line close this thing again okay and uh, just put this pressure okay and again the same thing clunk it is stuck one two that's enough and here releasing pressure 
And here are the second one. Can you see this? The second, okay? Here, the second lure. Can you see that? Yes, okay. Here. Now, so I, I make another one just to show you. Oops, I'm sorry. Here. Okay. Just follow the line. Okay, where you want your lures to, to, to go. And uh, it's easy. It's a, it's a handmade tool. Handmade. It's, it's from scrap. One, two. That's it. You can cut, you can cut even steel uh, depending, depending on, on the strength of, of the jack. So here, here, here is a cup number three. Okay, so this is about what what this tool can do, and you can make it. It's it's very easy to make if you have a, a, a if you have a a, a a a welder and a small grinder. That's and some hard steel because uh, um, to make now here I uh, I am removing uh, dice to show you a, a close up this is male which goes on top here and I just removed before this is female now here is Okay, let's start with me. This is a, this is a piece of hard steel. I I weld it to 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 soft steel so I could uh, uh, drill the holes because the hard steel. This is what you need to make your cutting edge. Can you see this? I'm going very slowly here okay this is cutting edge I I fabricated from uh, uh, from old uh, leaf spring just you cut a slice and then you fashion it with a, with a, with a small grinder and then you have to you have to polish if you have a uh, if you have a press drill you can you can install a a, a a a grinding wheel and just just go over to to, to make a nice uh, finish surface because uh, otherwise uh, your cut uh, would not be nice and straight so here the edges are 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 fabricated just with you know with a hand grinder it it is uh, it is time consuming job but you have your own you have your own your own die so this is this is how it's can you see yes this is how you can how you do this is male and this here and this here is female it goes one into another just like that okay so the female it's again i use a I use a, a, a key from a, from a lathe to get that hard edge because this is what you need to cut your it has to be very hard so and the rest is just an ordinary steel welded to it and here as you can see uh, I made a, here a, a, a shaped a, a form to fit one into another and this is this is actually the hardest thing to do for you know it looks like but if you if you really try look uh, I am no expert anyway so so I succeeded uh, so everybody else can can succeed too okay here so this is what you need here close up this is what you need to cut your own lures Okay, thank you very much and good luck in your project.
this is this is a close up this is a close up it looks really great on a car looks super and it is functional because it will expel heat from the engine alright oh I have to be saying in real in real thing very good